Hello, how are you lovely people? I don't know if that was a bit weird and a bit offensive. Um, hi everybody. So, um, I'm in my bedroom today, my boudoir, and I'm starting to feel a little bit Christmassy because I've put some Christmassy duvets, duvets, duvet cover on um, the bed and it's really snuggly and brush cotton, which I sort of feel is a little bit like the ultimate joy of snuggleness. Is it too early for to be Christmassy yet? Like, I know it's the beginning of November, but I'm sort of feeling like Christmas now can be two months. So I'm gonna really, really use that to my advantage and have Christmas bedding. Right, so today, shut up Gabby. Um, today we are doing an ASOS haul. I went mental on the ASOS website last week because they had a 20% off offer for their like Halloween reductions. Are we doing that now? Are shops doing that now? Like Halloween reductions, like Black Friday's like this new thing, all oh, those Halloween reductions. But I'm totally for it because I get stuff cheap. So I'm gonna go straight on in because otherwise you're just gonna be listening to me chat shit for a while. Um right. I tried some of this stuff on, but not all of it, but it's still in the packaging. So my first off thing that I bought was this headband here because now it's becoming the winter months I get really really cold ears and they hurt a lot so I thought because I'm taking the dog for a walk and stuff get this mohair headband thing to keep my ears warm so people can't see how greasy my hair is as well um, the next thing it's so like, a, a, like, look at how big this bag is. Oh, that bag's huge. So yeah, there's that. Right, this, I needed some more like items for going out because I just constantly in sort of like jumpers and mumsy wear and jogging bottoms and I was going out more recently because now I'm able to so I needed some just items that I could wear when going out so I'm not one I'm sort of wondering if this is a little bit cat's later EastEnders google her um I don't know it's kind of nice on because I did try it on but I looked like crap when I tried it on so it's just like this shirt Who's it by? It is an, just an ASOS one. But it also feels a bit like, um, I'm really shit with materials. So I'm just gonna say it feels a bit like a dishcloth right now, but it doesn't feel like that when you put it on. Um, so I kind of like that, but I also don't know if it is the whole sort of cat slater vibe going on. Let me know what you think. You tell me in the comments below what you think of that shirt whether or not I should keep it. Um, next item in the lucky dip. See, I wish it, it's a bit like Christmas because I'm just dipping into a sack. This, not a roof sack. Um, this is by Pimkey, who I haven't actually heard of before, but discovered. And then I got this for like a goey outy sort of thing. So it's got like a nice little lacy detailing with these flappy bits. And so it's a long sleeves and just cut off. And that was really good. I think, I can't remember the prices of things, but I remember the price of this was like 10 99 So I thought it was actually a bit of a bargain for that. And it's just simple. It's black. Black's great because it's slimming and you don't feel like a heifer lump in black. I don't know why I feel the need to sing things. What is next in the magical bag? Magical bag of ASOS. By the way, if you can hear the dog barking, um, she's going a bit insane at the moment. She's got a bit to that like four month puppy period where she just wants to eat everything or kill us. Um, denim skirt, just a normal black denim skirt, pockets, this was an ASOS one as well. I just needed one because I don't really have many skirts in my life. So I thought maybe I should branch out and wear, well maybe I should actually 
Well, I can wear this stuff now because I've been going to wear it, but I wanted to film this video before actually um, showing you. What? Show you before wearing it. Ooh. All right, the next item, this is a new look, one from ASOS, obviously, because it's a ASOS haul, but this has got those like puff sleeve thingies, which I kind of like on the models, but I feel a bit like um, Stretch Armstrong in the arm section when I wear it. It's a bit like, poof. so I'm not sure on those. I got that on a 16. My mum thinks I have body dysmorphia. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure about that one either. But it looked really nice on the model and that kind of is what you always sort of see how the model wears it and then you think that's how I'm going to look and then you don't. Um, right, I'm just going to show you this one which I have worn already because I couldn't save this one because I love them too much. And this was a really big splurge item for me. Um, so don't judge me, but I love them. So I've wanted to get some Uggs for a really, really long time and nothing against like the really tall Uggs, but they just, they're not really my sort of taste. But I wanted to get some Uggs because they're warm and because they last and they're just squishy goodness. And then I saw these, which are then like ankle boots, the heel and they're all furry inside and just like that. And I kind of thought, they're like really really nice Uggs and because I love ankle boots and I like wearing cut off sort of not cut off jeans but like ankle length jeans so they look really nice with that so I've been wearing these because I couldn't resist not wearing these and when you get a 20% off offer in like with Uggs as well you have to use it so that was my splurge but this whole thing was actually a bit of a splurge. Right, next item. Dipping in, dipping in. Dipping in the mystery bag. Sorry if you don't like singing. Especially my singing. Right, this was from Noisy May. And that was a leather jacket. Which I really liked on the website. But I didn't really spot these bits. And these bits, I'm not too keen on. So, I'm not sure whether or not to keep that or not. I need, like, a really nice leather jacket. If any of you have, like, I don't want to wear, I don't want real leather. I want faux leather. Um, but if any of you know of a good place to get a leather jacket from that's faux leather, which doesn't cost, like, an arm and a leg and lasts well but it's like quite thin and movable is that the right word like not sort of really stiff like where you're walking around and you feel a bit like a robot let me know because i i want one and i can't find one and i thought that was gonna be one but it wasn't it wasn't for me right so i also got this headband as well which is just velvet silvery knotted headband which is quite nice i love headbands as you may be able to tell because they just um can hide gray hairs see at the age of 30 and i have loads of gray hairs i've been getting gray hair since i was 24 and i blame that on craig because i think that my life became so much more stressful once Craig was more involved. Um, anyway, next item. I really love this one. I like. I really wanted to really like this one, and luckily I do really like this one. This is another sort of like goy outy type of thing. Um, I think you could wear it in a day. It's that, and then the little. I thought I was getting makeup on it. Little sort of study things for the neck there. Who's that by? 
that's reclaimed vintage so it's just a little hole at the back sort of you can wear it with like black high-waisted jeans or skirts and stuff I just thought it was it's like really different and not your typical thing sometimes I just talk for the sake of it I'm just showing off my purchases to the neighbours not from Yorkshire either right this one is that all I bought? I swear I bought more than that um, and this one which I don't really like I do like it but I ordered it yet again with my mum thinking I have body dysmorphia I ordered it in a large and um, it's by Monkey which oh my god if you've never discovered Monkey go and look at their website I love Monkey so good and their sales are epic um, just a big long inspector gadget trench mag which um is really quite big so that's the thing it it's hard because so many different shops have their sizings are so strange like in where is it top shop i'm a 14 in um primark I could be a 12 or a 14, H&M I'm a 16, it's like, Christ, to make your mind up, I wish like they could all just set like one sort of size for all, I think that's all I bought, what's that, oh this, I bought this as well, sorry I bought more, oh and I did actually, no I bought my some of my foundation as well because I use NARS foundation and they sell that on ASOS and so then I managed to get 20% off that as well and I was running out so I kind of needed it and things um but also this headband which is not coming up and showing um it's green and I don't know if you can see it don't concentrate on my face my lip focus it's like these little kingfisher birds that are embroidered on to the side of it which I just thought was quite cute and different anyway right so that was my ASOS haul I hope you enjoyed it um I also went a bit mental in H&M so I'm just about to record an H&M haul as well so thank you for watching and um if you enjoyed this video please click the thumbs up um even if you didn't enjoy this video click the thumbs up anyway because then it is better to be positive than negative um also subscribe uh share it with your friends give me comments because it's nice hearing from you and also i need suggestions on leather jackets and things and also what you think of that leopard shirt cool right well i will see you guys soon thanks for watching